Salut, you right, et bienvenue au carport aujourd'hui. Alors mes petits rock guys, we're carrying on with our final module review, right? Looking at identity. Last lesson we looked at clothes and styles, and it was a really tough lesson with like adjectives, two different tenses, and a load of vocabulary. Today then, I'm gonna test you on that. I'm gonna see what you can do. We'll start with the vocab test and, and to test your grammar to see how well you know the language. Then we're going to do some reading and listening today. So you're going to have to understand French people talking about what they wear, where they're going, what they're going to wear and, and, and pick out all of those details. It's going to be tough today, but nothing you can't handle. You're right. Let's get going. Hello, mes enfants. Let's start as we always do. Donc, s'il vous plaît, dans les cahiers bleus, copier le date pour moi et plutôt inventer le date. Que payer le titre du genre pour aller en ville, je vais porter, qui veut dire to go to town, I'm going to wear. Et puis, vous avez le contrôle de post-it ici. Comment dire I wear, I'm going to wear, we wear, etc. Comment dire les six choses ici en français pour vous aider, je vous ai donné la première lettre pour chaque phrase. Alors, put me on pause now, guys. Two minutes to translate these phrases, see what you can do. When you're ready, recommencez le vidéo and I'll go through the answers. Hello, mi petit, you should have the date and title in your book. You should have had a go at uh, control the post-it. How many did you get today? I reckon four or more will be really, really good. So, today then, as I said in the first slide, we're testing you on your vocab, testing you on your reading and listening skills to see how well you know our clothes vocabulary, which comes up again at GCC, where you'll have to go into clothes shops, get clothes, talk about clothes. So this is so important for your future learning and for when you go to France as well. France is the um, the fashion capital of the world. It's a great thing to do to go shopping when you're in France. Alors, all of this will build into that. Let's start today with our contrôle de post-it and see what you know. Donc, le premier I wear is je porte. Porter is our verb to wear. <coughs> in the present tense, we wah, chop off the ER and then we change our endings. So, what about the future tense? Did you remember all the steps? Have you been listening to that incredibly irritating song? You need a bit that says go in and then to uh, put it all together. You've got je vais porter. Look at the difference between the two in these two tenses. This is what you'll need to do for GCC. Add up. We wear present tense, but it's not going to be new pots. It is going to be new, but what happens to our end? Then we talk about others. It cha 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 and it follows the pa pa pa. So what pattern does it follow? You should have new pot. We were. Alright, well done if you got the first three. Numero 4, cette fois c'est au futur. So, nous portons is we were. You still need the ONS somewhere, but not on this verb. You need to say we are going. That verb changes. And then we need the verb to wear our infinitive. So you need nous allons porter. Well done if you got this one, guys. This is our future tense that you need to know. And then, we also last lesson looked at adjectives and how they changed. So this one here is feminine. Do you know the pattern? Should be une chemise bleue. Remember, our adjective comes after the thing it's describing. Et finalement, white trainers, you should have des baskets blanches. Guys, a really good effort here. Give yourself a mark at how many you've done. We're going to be revising all of these key things today. Our present tense, our future tense, our adjective rules. We'll be looking at all of this. But first, let's have a little test of your vocab to see what you can do. Et voilà mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. On va jouer les sables muvants. Vous avez 36 secondes et les mots ici, non pardon, les mots ici vont disparaître. Voilà, donc... Il faut dire français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, rapidement. Let me give you an example. Pour aller, in order to go, je porte, ah ouais, je vais porter, I'm going to wear, un sweat, a capuche, a hoodie, un pantalon, trousers, boom, voilà. Donc, il faut dire français, anglais, rapidement. Put me on pause. While you just get this back in your head, put me on pause to make sure you're ready. Then when you think you can do this. Unpause me, I'll count you down, and then the words will start disappearing. Put me on pause now. Bon courage. Allo, mes petits, if you've unpaused me, you're ready to go. Toi, deux, un, allez. Allo, first lines down, so you're rapide, mes petits.
Second column's almost gone. Ali, 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 Ali. Alloy, cinq, quatre, soit deux, un. Et c'est fini, tu le mot. Alors, bon effort. How well did you do? Excellent. Let's see what you can do. Alors, the first slide is just, it's just too easy for you guys. You've got a control de post-it coming up. Donc, pour la deuxième activité, c'est la même chose, mais cette fois, j'ai pris les lettres. Donc, il faut compléter le français aussi. Par exemple, in order to go, pour aller, ah oh ouais, je porte, I'm going to, je vais porter, a hoodie, un sweater, capuche, trousers, un pantalon, still going in lockdown. Alors, donc, vous avez 36 secondes, you're right, mettez-moi ce pause maintenant, spend 30 seconds, make sure you know all of these, when you're ready, restart me, I'll count you down and I'll make it disappear, put me on pause, now, allez. Allo mes petits, right guys, so, you should be ready for this, bon courage, 3, 2, 1, allez. First column's almost gone. Allez, allez, allez. Et voilà, you need to be on column two. You need to be quick. Soyez rapide, mes petits. Alors, 15 secondes environ. Et toi, deux, un. C'est fini mes petits, right guys, bon effort ici, here's 15 keywords, you've got to know this, let's put you to the test. Hello mes petits, right guys, so now you'll need to load up the sheet I've got on Frog and the first activity is our vocab challenge, you know how this works, mais je vais expliquer en français. Alors donc, first thing to say, put your books away. Do not look at last lessons of a cabaret. It's not about that, guys. This is to test you. So today, the pass mark is nine. And if you don't get nine, then you need to go back to last lesson and watch the section where we go through the vocab again. Or even better, go on Memorize and click on the clove section and practice the clothes because all the words, every word on this vocab test is on there on that section. Do that for 15 minutes, then come back to this lesson and pick it up because that will show you how ready you are. If you just use your book and complete this, I mean, you'll be like, fine, I got past the vocab test. But then for the reading and the listening later on in the lesson, you're just going to find it really tough. So get the most out of it. Make sure you practice. This is a test for you. I'm not taking the marks and this is a test for you to see if you can do this, to see if you're ready and to test you on what you know. There's no problem if you don't know enough. Just go back and revise and then come back. So, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. C'est plus difficile aujourd'hui. Pour question 1, 2, 3, 4. Qu'est-ce que c'est en français? Je vous ai donné la première lettre pour moi. Donc, par exemple, I wear is going to be je. I just say I wear je pis. I'm going to wear je. Think of the song. De, de. And then, a verb to wear. Alors, donc, pensez comment faire ça en français. Pour question 5, c'est toute seule. Qu'est-ce que tu vas porter? Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Il faut écrire l'anglais ici. Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais, mes petits? Alors, donc, ça, c'est pour question 1, 2, 3, 4 et 5. Pour question 6, 7, 8, etc. Ici, voilà. Pardon. Ici, voilà. Vous avez les mots qui manquent dans la boîte. Et ici, vous avez une phrase. Donc, pas en vio. D'habitude, je porte un jean et des. Plural. Basket. Plural. Quoi ici? Donc, pensez quel mot ici est d'accord avec la phrase. So, pour something to town. To what to town? To, there's got to be another verb. You hear le verb ici. Usually, I wear jeans and... Trainers, it's got to be a colour. A colour for something that's plural. There's two colours in here. 
Is that? No, it's just one. Suivez les couleurs et ça, c'est les réponses. Donc, complétez les phrases pour moi, s'il vous plaît. You also have an extra challenge today, but it's very, very difficult. I think you're all probably too thick for this year seven, haven't taught you all. So, you need to translate this sentence. This weekend, you're going to go to a party and therefore, you're going to wear a purple stripy designer shirt. Won't you look cool? Alors donc, traduisez la phrase pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Ça, c'est la prochaine activité. Year 7, bon courage. I want you on your phones to set a timer for 4 minutes. I think 4 minutes will be a good limit today. 4 minutes. See what you can do in that 4 minutes when you think you've done all you can. 9 is the pass mark. So when you think you've done all you can, you think you've secured 9, restart the video and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, if you're listening to me now, then you've had a go at our vocab test and you want to get the answers. Now, nine is a good mark. C'est la note d'admission qui veut dire en anglais the pass mark. Twelve or more will be fantastic. Quinze sur quinze. Ooh, la, la, that'd be an amazing effort. So, let's see what we can do. The first one, numéro un, the I wear. Qui est? Je porte. So, this is our present tense. Je porte is I wear. Look at the difference between when we say I wear and number two, I'm going to wear. So you need a bit, this is going, and then we need two verbs. Donc c'est, je vais porter. Now to get the mark, you need both parts. I need the je vais after our song, but you also need the er on the end. You need the infinitive. Without the er, it just says I'm going where. I want I'm going to wear. You have to have this ER in the end. Guys, if you got that, a really good effort. Numéro 2, this one is nasty. Did you get it? It says, uh, to go to town. It could have helped you out if you got number 6 as well. It was there twice. It is pour aller en ville. Voilà. And numéro 4, I'm going to play. If je vais partir is I'm going to wear. I'm going to play is je vais jouer. With the ER on the end, you need that ER. Guys, excellent effort so far. Four marks available. You need nine today. Numéro cinq. I ask you, qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Qu'est-ce que tu vas porter? Veut dire, what are you going to wear? It's in our future tense. So, qu'est-ce que is what? Tu vas is your going. And then porter is to wear. Voilà. Excellent. If you got this one, if you're close, I'll allow the mark for number five. Right. Five marks maximum for section one. La deuxième partie, c'était plus difficile. So for number six, I've already sort of given it away because I said it was number three. Pour aller en ville. So in order to go to town, d'habitude, je porte un jean et des baskets. So here we say trainers. It had to be a colour, I said. And this is plural. This is plural. So our colour's got to be plural. There's only one plural word in here and it is... Blanche. Voilà, je, vais porte, euh, je porte un jean et des baskets blanches. One mark for aller, one mark for blanche. Bon effort, mes petits. So, seven maximum so far. Numéro 7. This one was tough. Je porte un jean bleu et un t-shirt de Adidas. So, it wants to say de what Adidas? An Adidas t-shirt of Adidas brand. Donc, le mot c'est de Mac. Adidas. So this word here, Mac, is how you say designer or who made your clothes. So on t-shirt, the Mac Adidas is what we'd say in English, an Adidas t-shirt. Right. Free words used. Free remain. Numero 8 holds all three. If you've got full marks so far, you've done amazing. But this one was really tough. I know some of you are going to drop a mark here. It goes. Normalement, le weekend, je... Porte un t-shirt et un jogging. Mais nu wants to say we. Oui. So what's that ending for we? Oui? Is it this or is it this? This is what we've got left. For nu, it always ends in ONS. Nous allons aller à un mariage et donc je vais porter un costume noir. Free potential marks you did sensation if you got those for year seven that was definitely the toughest one let's translate it it says normally at the weekend i wear a t-shirt and like a tracksuit bottoms but 
We are going to go to a wedding and therefore I'm going to wear a black suit. Voila, right guys, a brilliant effort here. If you had a go at the extra challenge, I'll give you one mark for having a go. Two marks if it's absolutely perfect. It was really tough today. Have a little read through. Guys, can you add up all the marks you've got? 15, so you know, maximum. Give yourself a mark out of 15. If you've got over nine, I'm really happy with your effort. You've done phenomenally well because this was tough. If you've got under nine, go back to last lesson, have a little practice of this vocab, or go and memorize, and then pick this lesson up after. Hello, year seven. Bon effort. If you're ready to continue, keep watching. Hello, right guys, you've got the vocab, you know our clothes, we've revised all this, now let's put you to the test with a reading activity. This is on your sheet, just scroll down and have a little look. Hello mes petits, so if you turn over or scroll down rather to the second page of your sheet, you've got our listening activity today. I'm going to explain it in French. The first activity is a bit confusing, so listen to me really, really carefully. There is a big extra challenge as well. Alors donc, écoutez-moi bien, je vais expliquer ce qu'il faut faire. Et voilà, ceci, c'est activité 1. Il faut lire le texte. Il faut lire le texte de Taliana, Talina, pardon, Renaud et Nicolette. Ils vont dire ce qu'ils portent. Mais la deuxième partie du texte est ici. Alors, donc, il faut trouver la paire entre Taliana et le bon fin. Par exemple, elle dit, j'ai un style plutôt décontracté. I have a relaxed style. Normalement, je porte un t-shirt blanc et un jean slim avec un cha chapeau gris et des basquets. Normally, I wear a white t-shirt and skinny jeans with a grey hat and trainers. Mais ce weekend, je vais aller au restaurant. But this weekend, I'm going to go to a restaurant. Dot, dot, dot. So, what's the end of Talina's sentences? What's she going to wear to a restaurant? So, she's a girl and she's going somewhere smart. Qu'est-ce qu'elle va faire? A, B, U, C. I want you to read through A, B, and C, and you just have to circle which one matches who. So, Talina, is she this one? If she was, you'd circle this. Or is she B? Or is she C? You've got to match up the ending to each of these people. Look where they're going. So, she's a girl going somewhere posh. Renault is a boy, and he's going to a wedding. So, what you wear to a wedding. Nicolette is a girl, and she's going to do mountain biking. So, what do they match to? That's activity one. It's quite tough that, a bit of a brain teaser. Alors, ceci, c'est activité 2. Après avoir fait ça, vous avez les questions ici en anglais. Who has to dress smart this weekend? Who is doing sports this weekend? Donc, il faut écrire soit Taliana, Renault ou Nicolette ici. Donc, Taliana, Renault, Nicolette, Taliana, Talina, sorry, Nicolette, etc. Il faut écrire le nom du person ici. La défi additionnelle. Et voilà, so this is Nicolette and this is a end so put up really quick. You need to translate all of this into English. Alors, ça c'est les trois activités. If you haven't quite understood that, why don't you rewind and watch me again and have a look at your sheet. You've got 10 minutes to do this, so put the video on pause, put a timer on your phone pour 10 minutes, and when you think tu as fini, recommencez le video et je ferai les réponses. Good luck, mes petits, on y va! Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, so if you're hearing me now, you've had a go at this activity and you're ready for the answers. I think this is a tough challenge today. Let's see what you've done. So I'm going to do this backwards. I'm going to read all of these three and then I'm going to read the three possibilities. And I'm going to match them to who. So we've already done Talina. She says, this weekend I'm going to go to a restaurant. So I'm looking for something A, B or C, something smart for a girl. Renaud says, mais ce weekend... On va aller à un mariage. He's going to a wedding. So a boy going to a wedding. I need something smart and wedding-y. Et fin finalement, Nicolette says, on va faire du fait d'été. So she's going mountain biking or cycling. So she needs to be wearing something sporty. All right, let's check out A. Alors, je vais porter un pantalon noir, un chemise blanche, une veste, Des chaussures noires et une cravate. Okay, so this person says I'm going to wear black trousers, 
white shirt, jacket, black shoes, and a tie. That is very, like, that is incredibly smart. That has to be Renault going to the wedding. Et voilà, so Renault matches to A. Numéro B, pardon, letter B. Alors, je vais porter un short bleu marine, un t-shirt rouge et des baskets. So, so, I am going to wear a navy blue shorts, a red t-shirt and trainers. Okay, that's, you can't wear that to a restaurant, the AC will be cold. That's got to be the one doing mountain biking. Alors, c'est Nicolette. Et donc, le dernier is, alors, je vais porter une jupe bleu turquoise. Des bottes noires et une veste noire. I'm going to wear a turquoise blue skirt, black boots and a black jacket. That's got to be Talina going to a posh restaurant. Et voilà, three marks possible for that. That was a bit tricky today. Well done if you got all three. Bon effort. The next activity is more like it. Et voilà mes petits. So let's have a little look and see what we can dress. Who has to dress smart this weekend? I think I'll accept two answers. I've gone for Renault because he's going to the wedding, but I'll also accept Talina because she's going to go to our restaurant. Numéro 2. Who is doing sports this weekend? Well, that has got to be Nicolette here saying on va faire du VTT. She's going mountain biking. Numéro 3. Who wears baggy trousers usually? Sorry about the spelling mistake. All right, baggy trousers. Let's have a look. So Talina says... Un jean slim, so it's not her because she usually wears skinny jeans. Oh, what about this one? Je porte un pantalon large vert khaki. It's got to be this one because he wears un pantalon large. means like large trousers. That would be baggy trousers. Et voilà, see what I did there. Parfait. Alors, numéro 4. Who wears skinny trousers usually? Literally just gave this away. It's up here. Uh, Talina, uh, Talina says un jean slim, donc c'est Talina. And then, who can't wear a skirt this weekend? Well, if Nicolette is doing VTT, she's on a mountain bike. Uh, yeah, you don't usually wear a skirt on a mountain bike. Donc, il doit être Nicolette. Voilà. Right, guys, five marks for this. Give yourself next to this with your red pens a mark out of five. Voilà. Bonne for mes petits. I got four marks. Voilà. Bonne for mes petits. Let's move on to that extra challenge. If you got into extra challenge and you did Nicolette, this is what you should have. Some really tough French here. Donc, j'ai un style plutôt classique. My style is quite classic. Plutôt means rather. So, allow that. Rather classic. Or rather normal. Normalement, je porte une chemise blanche et une jupe noire. Normally, wear a white shirt and a black skirt. Very formal for your normal style. Mais ce weekend, but this weekend, on va faire du VTT. We're going to go mountain biking, or one is going to go mountain biking. Alors, means so, or therefore, je vais porter, is I'm going to wear, navy blue shorts, I red t-shirt, and trainers. Right, I've broken up the mark scheme. Put me on pause if you've done the extra challenge. Mark up your work. As always, exceptional effort, extra challenges. This is so tough. Put me on pause and check your answers. I'm really happy you pushed yourself for the extra challenge today. Bon effort. Hello, my petit, bon effort jusqu'ici, guys, you're doing really well today. A lot for you to, to, to hold and to remember and a good test of your French. Let's just push that difficulty a little bit further. When you read, you've got time to think and reflect. One of the hardest skills we do at Glenfawn to get you prepared for when you go to France is the listening. Can you understand French people on the spot? Donc, on verra. Let's see what you can do. Look at our next activity, mes petits. Alors, mes petits, donc, pour la prochaine activité, c'est une activité d'écoute. Donc, avant de commencer, il faut visiter le site de web ici. Voilà. Et quand vous faites ça, il va vous demander de entrer une code. Il faut copier et coller la code ici pour, pour écouter l'enregistrement. D'accord? Donc, fais ça en premier. Après avoir fait ça, ici, c'est l'activité du genre. On va écouter 1, 2, 3, 4 personnes. Colin, Akai, Mélanie et Arthur. Et ils vont dire une activité qu'ils vont faire. Il faut écrire l'activité qu'ils vont faire en anglais ici. Puis... Ils vont dire ce qu'ils vont porter pour faire l'activité 
il faut écrire les vêtements qu'ils vont porter ici. D'accord Donc, deux choses à faire. Qu'est-ce que c'est l'activité Qu'est-ce qu'ils vont porter Complétez le tableau en anglais, mais petit. Donc, guys, if you're completing your table easily, listen up for these two key things for our extra challenge. They're going to say, we'll see. And I don't know. I want you to find out what these are in French as extra challenge. Now, just like we do in class, you'll listen to it, you'll read the transcript, and then we'll go through the answers. You can find the extra challenge looking at the transcript. That's fine as well. That's what you need to do. So go onto this site, enter our code, see what you can do. Now, in class, we listen to this two times. You can do that. You can listen twice if you want, or You can pause it, rewind, listen as many times as you want. Completely down to you, right? You're in charge of your learning. Do whatever's best for you to test yourself and to get this practice of French. When you think you've answered this all, you can restart the video. Put me on pause now. Restart the video and I'll show you the transcript. We'll go through it and then we'll go for our answers. Donc, on y va. Allo, mes enfants. Right, guys, if you're listening to me now, means you've done your best on this listening task. You've listened to it, you've got your answers, and you want to get you want to get the proper answers. Donc, avant ça, here's our transcript. Here's question one. Voilà. Et, oops, ici, c'est question deux. Donc, put me on pause. Read through the transcript like we would in class. Check your answers and see what you've got. If you want to change anything, do it now. Pause me and read through one and two. Alors mes petits, hein, et maintenant vous avez toi, Mélanie et Kat, Arthur. Have a little read through, check your answers, put me on pause. If you want to change anything, do it now. Alors mes petits, right guys, so you've been through the listening. Let's blitz our answers. This is what you should have. Colleen is going camping and she's going to wear one mark for each of these, yeah? Jeans, a black jumper and a hat. Okay, numéro 2. Akai is... Going into, he says two, going into town, but then they also say they're going to a restaurant. So I'll allow either one of those. And he's wearing a green shirt, navy trousers, and a jacket. Okay, une vest is a jacket, not a vest. It's a false enemy, a false friend. Melanie is going shopping with her friends, and she's wearing jeans and a hoodie. Even better if you got it, it was candy pink. Hoodie. And then finally, Arthur is going for a walk or hiking or anything like that with his family. And he's wearing a white t-shirt and beige shorts. Right, guys, add up what you've got. Ignore this eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Say quatorze. I'll be really impressed, guys. Quatorze, c'est la note ici. Let's say, yeah. Eight or more is a really good score. Eight out of 14, I'll be very happy with. Bonne pour mes petits. Ah, j'ai oublié la défi additionnelle. Okay, so I told you to find these two words. This is what you should have. We'll see is on va voir. One is going to see. Well done if you got that. That is tough. And then I don't know. Je ne sais pas. French people say this all the time. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Or they just say, je sais pas. Or sometimes they say, je pas. All means I don't know, they just shorten it. But the proper term is je ne sais pas. Allons, mes petites fleurs. Bon effort aujourd'hui. Guys, really, really good effort on clothes, on the future tense. One more thing before we go. And that is mastering these skills. Here's your homework for this week. So, part of it, as always, is your memorize homework to learn this vocabulary to make sure you're on top of it. Um, to see if you can do it. I've given you the vocab sheet, yeah, but I've taken away all of the English. What you need to do is test yourself. You, after these two lessons, should be able to fill this whole thing in in English. If you can't, you need to spend more time on memorize. I've also got the daily test for party in the present and the future. And then you've got a reading and like a, a writing activity down here. This, don't do it on a sheet, do it in your books, make it nice. I want you to draw out what you're doing for this fancy dress party. Make it look really, make it look really good, guys. Alors, that is all for next lesson, please. Bon effort aujourd'hui, year eight. I hope you're all safe and well. Please feel free to email me um, with any questions about French. I will get back to you if it's a question. If it's not, I'll probably ignore it because as you can hear, I get a lot of emails. Alors donc, merci tout le monde. Uh, stay safe. Au revoir.